Tinea versicular is the topic, and tinea refers to a fungal uh, etiology, a rash basically that's caused by fungus. And versicular essentially is a term that means to turn color. So we'll talk about this in this video. Essentially, tinea versicular is an infection caused by a fungus known as Malassezia fervor. And Malassezia fervor is part of our normal flora. Now, if it's part of our normal flora, then why does it uh, cause a rash? Well, there's certain factors that can uh, contribute to this uh, fungus uh, developing into a uncomfortable or rather uh, uncomfortable looking rash because it's asymptomatic. And those factors are heat, humidity, and any form of immunosuppression uh, will uh, also contribute to this uh, rash developing. So, I will uh, show you a picture, but I first wanted to uh, describe what it looks like. Basically, you have these hypopigmented uh, macules, and they're multiple in number, and they're either brown or they can be white as well. It depends on the the person's skin color. And these lesions can kind of appear as patches as well. And they can be on either the face or the body. So let's take a look at a picture. So here's a picture of uh, tinea vesicular on a person's back. And if you can see right here, there these lesions, they're lighter than the person's skin. And that is very characteristic because what happens is in the summer months when a person tans, the lesions do not tan. And that basically makes uh, these lesions obvious on a physical exam. The uh, tan skin, as you can see, I'm assuming uh, this person is tanned a little bit in this area, for example, in this area. But if you notice in the middle, all these lesions are um, lighter. They're hypopigmented. And there's multiple lesions all over his back. So that's essentially a very characteristic way of um, detecting tinea versicular. Diagnosis, really just clinical most of the time, just looking at the rash. But if you really want to uh, do a test, you can do a test called a potassium hydroxide wet mount where you take some scrapings of the uh, skin and you will see characteristic hyphae and uh, budding uh, cells, which essentially are the yeast that is uh, characteristic of any kind of fungal rash. Treatment, antifungals of course, any uh, type of uh, antifungal will do, uh, any of the azoles for example, and uh, most commonly you have ketoconazole. And this can be given either as a topical uh, cream or ointment or as an oral pill and also it's given sometimes as a shampoo. So let's take a look at a couple clinical vignettes and see what this looks like. A middle-aged man presents with a rash on his back. Examination shows multiple asymptomatic scaly patches varying from white to brown. Patient states that he notices the condition only in the summer because the lesions do not tan. A potassium hydroxide preparation from the scraping shows spores and non-branched hyphae. What is the most accurate diagnosis? Well, you couldn't get a more classic clinical vignette that describes tinea versicular. And then, um, before I get to the next question, I just wanted to uh, mention tinea capitis involves the head. And tinea corporis is also a fungal rash, but it's a little different. It's actually uh, appears as these circles that have uh, an erythematous uh, 
uh, perimeter, just in case you're wondering. Next question, a 29-year-old man comes to the office because of a recurrent rash that worsens in the summer uh, season and recurs more frequently with humid weather. Usually the rash involves his upper back and occasion spreads to shoulders and proximal arms. It is occasionally pruritic. Physical exam shows multiple hypopigmented oval macules and patches on his upper back. Hands and feet are not involved and all nails appear normal. You examine scrapings of the scale with potassium hydroxide under the microscope and find numerous short hyphae with multiple round spores in clumps. You should tell the patient that he has. Well, the first part is you have to figure out is it corporis or vesicular. And remember, corporis um, is another type of fungal rash, but it appears as circles, and the perimeter will be slightly raised, and the perimeter will be erythematous. And I encourage you to take a look at uh, photos of a tinea corporis rash on the internet. So this is describing hypopigmented macules, and that of course is very characteristic of tinea vesicular. And he also tells you that it worsens in the summer, and that is also part of the history. So we can eliminate A, B, and C. So now we're left with uh, D and E, which both are tinea vesicular, which is of course the correct diagnosis, but how do you treat it? Well, the best treatment for tinea vesicular is really something that will cover all the lesions in that uh, area of the body. And most commonly you use any of the azoles. And the most common, of course, is ketoconazole. And it's given as a shampoo. So that would be choice E.